Hey, we're live. How are you on this Saturday? Look at this scenery. Oh, is this beautiful or what? Not in Florida, even though I have a lot of friends in Florida. Close, not even close. <laughs> Although it is beautiful and it's cold up here. And as I'm absolutely enjoying this beach, you know, I realize I'm fully aware that there are lots and lots of people who are not able to enjoy moments like this because of a phobia or a fear, anxiety, because again, with the people I've worked with, there are some people who are afraid to leave the house. There are some people who are afraid to fly or even drive, so they will never get to experience, maybe never in their lifetime get to experience, you know, what, what nature has to offer us, or they're just so anxious that they, again, they don't leave the house, they just kind of stay in close quarters and stay where it's comfortable and familiar. And, and the truth is, you know, missing out on so much life. And then a lot of people, when they reach out to me, you know, they read somewhere or, you know, they hear me talk about hypnosis and, um, you know, and I can sense it. And a lot of times they tell me how it's scary, you know, hypnosis, what is it actually, what does it do? And, you know, and then of course they share their concerns with me. You know, people are scared that um, I will control their mind somehow or that they will go under or that they will, um, maybe go too deep or too far and I don't even understand what that really means um, and so the reason why so many people are scared and even skeptical with hypnosis <laughs> is the truth I was too you know when I first learned about this process and this science science because by now the medical industry has has agreed that this stuff works why they're not using it well I can tell you why they're not using it but that's a whole other story um, so why are we so skeptical because the truth is we have all been misled about what hypnosis actually is and what it might be able to do for you and I again I was a skeptic myself because when I first learned about this, I was almost like very dismissive and arrogant about it. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll learn about it, but I don't really believe that it works. And I don't really, um, again, I was part of that whole crowd that has been brainwashed where, you know, Hollywood has shown us that there is this thing called stage hypnosis where people, you know, quack like a duck and all these crazy things. Remember, that's entertainment. That's a whole different area of hypnosis. It works, but it's, it's used for, for the purposes of entertainment, right? So when we take hypnosis and you and I get together and use it, we use it to heal. We use it in, uh, for the context of therapy. For, we use it to break some habits that have been possibly with you for so long. You know, anxiety is nothing but a, but a negative pattern that has been existing in your body and your mind and and even though you you so desperately want to get rid of it something is you know there's something underneath that is running you instead of you running it and so I totally can understand and empathize with you if you're skeptical about hypnosis because again that kind of has is what society has taught us and I used to agree with that and I was totally on board, you know, very skeptical about hypnosis. And today, however, after having worked with so many people and utilized this science and this process every single time to this day, I get enchanted. I get mesmerized by how efficient this technology really is and how quickly it works. And so if, if I may explain to you a little bit about you know, you might be curious to hear why do some people have anxiety? Why do some people develop addictions? You know, why is it that we form these negative habits or even depression or phobias? You know, right now, I don't know, for some reason, so many people are reaching out to me with phobias, fear of flying, fear of bugs, fear of mice, all kinds of stuff. And, and right, so what is it that causes somebody to stay in this negative pattern? And he, so here's something that, that's really fascinating that I want you to um, understand. 
here is what actually happened. There was one moment, a moment, there was a moment in your life where this pattern was created and developed. And from that moment on, your neurology, your physiology, psychology has been operating, uh, operating with this operation system, with a program. But it was in a moment. You know, like I was working with a woman, fear of bugs. Well, when we got back to the first time this ever happened, the root cause, we saw, she saw, that she was six months old, she was in a stroller, and her mom, who was pushing the stroller, was attacked by, um, I don't know, was bees or something. Like, it was a lot of insects. And the mom freaked out, ran away, you know, flared her out. And, the, and it's almost like the child, the baby, now understood what happened and why she had developed this unbelievable fear of bugs. And once we get to the root cause, that's when you will get the understanding of why this happened in the first place and you will get to change your mind okay you will get to change your mind this is an inside job you will get to change that program that actually has been hurting you for so long and I like to call the analogy I like to use for this is you know how people stand in line for days sometimes to get a new iPhone, they want to get an upgrade. Because I can guarantee you, your first iPhone probably didn't have GPS, and it probably didn't have a lot of the other apps. But for some reason, we're happy to stand online to get an upgrade for our phone, but when it comes to an upgrade to your mind, people get all freaked out and anxious and upset and scared, and, and I, again, I get it, because that's, that's what society is teaching us. But when you are in hypnosis, when you are receiving and doing this therapy with me, you are actually upgrading your mind. Because think about it, if this anxiety was installed when you were 5 years old, 18 years old, 25 years old, and you're now 40, but you're still, a part of you is still operating with this old operating system, with this old program. Do you see how that makes sense? That it wouldn't work because you as a 40 year old, and again, I'm just mind reading here, might have completely different goals. Maybe now that you're 40, you want to be able to fly, you want to be able to drive, you want to, you have all these goals that you want to achieve. You want to be able to go up to talk to strangers. You want to be able to trust people again. Even though maybe at 20, you were deeply hurt. And that's when, you know, when you learned, at that moment is when you learn, don't ever trust people again, or don't ever trust men again, or oh, don't ever trust blonde women again, whatever, right? And so, and yet, unless we uncover the root cause of what happened, why did this happen, how did your physiology respond to this event, and a lot of times, obviously, it's trauma. It's, it's a traumatic uh, place. However, what our neurology perceives trauma could be anything. It doesn't have to be the horrific scene of rape or being killed or, you know, like it doesn't have to always be that way. Trauma can be a three-year-old is left home in his room, his parents leave, you know, they just, <laughs> hi puppy, <laughs> hey, <laughs> little doggies, hi puppy, sorry, distracted. <laughs> Oh my god, how cute. Okay, sorry, totally got distracted by dogs. I love dogs. You love dogs? Look how cute they are. Can you see this? So the little one came to visit me. Can you see this? I don't even know if you can see this. Right? So the little boy, he was left in his room. His parents, you know, leave the room. And all of a sudden, this little boy feels, oh my god, they left me. I'm abandoned. Nobody loves me because his mind interprets that when his parents aren't there, even though he called them and nobody came, right? They didn't respond, maybe they didn't hear him. But at that moment, he decided this, this incredible Im amount of fear surged inside of his system. And that is when anxiety was installed. And this is why this three-year-old has been carrying anxiety for his whole life, not realizing. And again, this is, all this is very subconscious. So your subconscious has this information and the way we can easily 
um, uncover this information that is so important to you, that is waiting there for you to discover and uncover. Your, your subconscious has this information because it's part of your memories, it's part of your life. And this is why this works so beautifully. So hypnosis is not me being in control of your mind. In fact, it is you being in control of your mind. You finally learning how to be in control of your mind because nobody ever taught us. In school, we weren't taught how to use our mind. We were taught how to be a, excuse me, damn good factory worker. Here, read this, do that. You know, learn it a hundred times, uh, um, repeat it thousands of times, and now you're a good student. But nobody ever taught us how to really use our mind so that we can achieve our potential, so that we can be confident. Nobody taught us how to use our emotions to understand them. And not obviously to understand them, but then how to utilize this information and allow it to empower you instead of disempower you which is what happens for so many people and again if you want a process that will allow you to get rid of anxiety depression not feeling good enough not feeling worthy not trusting people always wor worrying about what people say about you always wanting to ask somebody else for their opinion again whatever that is right think about what is the cost of that in your life how have you been missing out what have you not been able to do because of this um, nuisance, quite frankly? And the reason I'm so passionate about this, in addition to because it works and because it's, it's gentle, it's kind, it's elegant, it's efficient, it's fast. The other reason is because I have been suffering with self-doubt and major confidence issues for so long for way too long. And it's not that I didn't look for help. Believe me, I went to therapy. I did couples therapy. I talked to my friends. I did all kinds of programs. I talked to people. I talked to counselors. I was, I was out there looking for help. And I didn't get the help that I needed because nothing really changed. I still went home with the same problems, not really knowing how to how to uh, find a solution to my problems, not knowing how to be confident, how to speak what's on my mind, and how to feel really good about it, and and be unapologetically me. And anybody can can have that. Anybody can achieve that. You know. And this is why I am in love with hypnosis, because again. Listen, our brain, our mind is the most advanced technology known to man. We think that computers and iPhones are sophisticated. They are a joke compared to our mind. And yet, we're running every five minutes to get that new iPhone, to get that new upgrade, to get the new car, to get the new computer. And this is exactly what hypnosis can do for your mind. Get a, a total upgrade. In, uninstall the programs that are no longer working in your mind and install something that you want instead. You want to stop drinking alcohol, you want to stop smoking, you want to start speaking up, you want to be motivated on command, you want to be confident on demand, whatever that is that you want to be. Again, the sky's the limit. I don't know what it is you want, but I'm sure you do. And yet there's something inside of you that is holding you back. And that something is called an outdated, outmoded, outworn program that has been sitting there dormant, decaying, and it's just playing for you. And yet you're not getting the results you want. Because if you have an iPhone, one of the first iPhones, and it doesn't have the GPS app on it, no matter how much you fiddle with this phone, no matter how much you try, no matter how smart you are, no matter how intelligent you are, no matter how technologically savvy you are, it will not work for you because that program is not installed. Does that make sense now? Right? So this is, again, it's, it's an analogy, but I love it because it really, um, it helped me understand the point, you know, of how this really works. And 
when, and, and, he, and the other thing that I love about hypnosis is that I will show you how you can use it for the rest of your life so that you can program your mind every single day so that you can be as successful as you want to be as happy as you want to be as excited make as much money as you want be um have faith in yourself have trust in yourself feel relaxed be calm and get to your potential because we all have it we all have a magnificent superpower inside of us and yet too many people are held back by again something that happened so long ago and it, it has been holding them back so let me know if this is useful to you and let me know if you have any questions about this and again as I'm enjoying this speech I I'm fully aware how many people how many people's lives is held back by these insecurities and worries and doubts and 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 the pain the pain that people are suffering and yes this can be done over zoom you don't have to come meet me at the beach unless you want to um, this can be done over zoom and um, again the process is it's easy anybody can do it I will coach you through it I will guide you through it you know you will have somebody there right next to you who will who will help you out and really all you need to do is be totally absorbed, be attentive, listen to my words, take instructions, and then just do the work. It's, it's really as simple as that. So again, thank you so much. Now there's a baby distracted me. It's like, oh my God, and he's smiling at me. <laughs> of course, he's so cute. Oh my God. I think he's wearing pajama pants. Oops. <laughs> cute. Um, so where was I yeah and thank you for being in this group because uh, whether we ever work together or not I, I want to give you my best I want to educate you I want to share with you what is it that I have that can absolutely help you you know and again whether you take action or not it's not up to me but my mission my goal is to give you everything that I got so that you can get to the other side and, uh, and again, once you take action, it's really a matter of doing this process together and then we get to celebrate, <laughs> all right? Have an awesome Saturday. And I hope today you're in a beautiful, here's that beautiful family in a beautiful place and you get to enjoy yourself and the people you love. Take care.